Hello, my name is Mike Lamb. I'm D365 Business Applications uh, Practice Lead. And thank you today for joining the Dynamics Project Operations, which version to deploy presentation. So I, I put this together uh, with a lot of buzz around Microsoft Dynamics Project Operations. What is it? Which version should I deploy for my business, my situation? So I, I put together a, a presentation here to hopefully simplify the different versions and what might be best fit for your particular scenario. So the agenda today is going to be, would my business benefit from project operations? Uh, overview of the versions, and then we'll go over summary next steps with project operations. So would my business benefit from project operations? So if you're obviously you have your project based selling, I uh, need to manage all your projects uh, based, you know, sales activities all the way uh, to delivering uh, projects for your customers. Um, then the project manager front, if they need tools to uh, track the budget, tasks, resource scheduling, timeline, work breakdown structure, and Gantt charts. Uh, also, if you uh, challenges with effectively resourcing projects, tracking resources, and costs associated with that, that's difficult for your uh, business today, then project operations is definitely something to take a look at. I will just do a quick overview of the versions here. So there's basically three different types of versions of project operations. One that's called the project light deployment scenario. Uh, the second one is called uh, project service automation with finance and supply chain management. And the third is the project operations for stock production order scenario. And that third one uh, lives inside of finance and supply chain. Uh, everybody who's familiar with finance and supply chain has probably heard of the project management accounting module. And this number three option is essentially that. Uh, so with uh, project operations, which versions to deploy? That's the seems to be the, the trickiest thing out there is there's these different versions, which which one's right for me. Uh, in here, I go over the different uh, some examples of industry. So like if you're in in construction industry, consulting, professional services, marketing, software development, um, those are definitely areas that Project Light uh, can fulfill those needs. Uh, manufacturing and engineering firms is also checked in this column. If it's going to be um, project operations by itself or connected to an ERP, um, a non, uh, if it's something other than finance supply chain management, if it was you're going to looking at project operations and connecting it to something like Business Central uh, as your backend ERP or any of the other non-Microsoft ERP platforms out there, this would be the scenario you'd want to uh, choose the project light deployment, which is all the project operations uh, application at your fingertips there. Um, if you have finance and supply chain management and the you know you're in the construction, contracting, consulting, you know, professional services, that arena, uh, you can uh, do the project service automation, uh, which is the project operations application that is integrated with finance and supply chain via dual right. Now, the big thing to note here is it works well as long as you're selling services um, and are not stocking your own products. You don't have your own inventory. You could purchase products from somebody else and sell them, but as long as you don't have stocked inventory um, that you're that you're going to use on the project, if you do, uh, then you're either going to have to um, go to the project operations for the stock production scenario, which in this case here, you'll see manufacturing engineering firms. Typically, that's where they land is in this scenario here where they have they produce uh, a product, have stocked inventory. Um, that would be the inside finance and supply chain, the project management accounting functionality essentially is what you'd be deploying. Uh, technically, uh, if you own finance supply chain, you have all this functionality here. Uh, even though I marked them with red X's, technically you could still deploy it. But the best practice going forward now is if you had non-stock, then it would 
definitely be wise to you utilize the project uh, service automation via dual write um, and take advantage of some of the the power platform and dataverse capabilities with with this uh, scenario. So that's a, a quick overview of the different versions here. Um, I'll go a little more in depth here. So I mentioned Project Light deployment. What what the heck is that? So Project Light, uh, it is uh, you know used for resource based scenarios. Existing customer engagement applications can can uh, talk with it. So if you have sales, uh, customer service, field service, we can it seamlessly. Uh, works with those applications built on the same technology. Uh, also, you can integrate with other ERPs. Um, we're doing a lot of work with with uh, project operations in this light scenario with uh, partnered up with Business Central um, or uh, some other ERP systems you could integrate with. So out of the box, you'll get project sales. You get the planning functionality, resource management, scheduling in there, time entry, and your expense entry, and then what uh, pro forma initial invoicing. So really in this project light scenario, you could deploy project operations by itself if you wanted to. The, the full value you're going to receive, though, is if you do integrate it with your ERP and take it the, call it the, the last mile of uh, having a full solution. So you could go beyond just doing a pro forma invoice, but actually invoice a customer and track all the way through your accounting package seamlessly. So uh, with this project light functionality, so uh, all the way from the beginning of the deal to uh, your pro forma invoicing. So you have the project planning utilization, uh, pricing, costing abilities, category based pricing, uh, project based uh, sales management. So order to quote um, resource scheduling uh, that integrates with field service and customer service. Uh, project progress, time tracking, all those things you're familiar with, if you're familiar with Project Pro, professional desktop application. So some of these functionality that you're used to in the desktop application is is in the, the project operations application. Uh, basic expense tracking and then perform an invoice that can be reviewed and um, either you know sent to the customer, sent to your your financial department, your accounting department, and they can process in their financial system. Um, the other thing is it is an open API, so we can connect to other, like I mentioned, other ERP systems. Uh, like I mentioned before, especially with Business Central, uh, that's a pretty common scenario right now with, with uh, Project Light um, and an extensibility via the platform. So it's built on the Power Platform technology, so you can take advantage of the Power Platform, Dataverse, uh, Power Automate, to all those uh, technologies as they um, become more, more prevalent there with uh, project operations. Uh, the second uh, area solution is the project service automation with finance and SCM. So it, the thing to note again here is it's it's based on resource based scenarios with non stocked inventory. So that's the big thing is if you don't have any stocked inventory, the scenario will work with you. If you own uh, project operations and uh, finance and supply chain management. So the items in the red here are project operations uh, functionality there. So project sales, the planning, the resource management and time entry. Um, you'll notice the difference. The purple items down here these are all inside of finance and supply chain management. So your expenses handled in, in finance supply chain, your inventory, your revenue recognition, and the project accounting is all done in finance supply chain management. Uh, it's all integrated uh, from project operations via the dual right technology into finance and, and supply chain management. So that's a second scenario. If you already own finance and supply chain management, or you want to utilize that as your your ERP system, uh, you can you have non-stocked inventory project-based scenarios. Then this would be the a good very good option to pursue. Uh, with project service automation with finance and supply chain management. So again, you uh, can take advantage of the project planning. Use you 
utilizing the Microsoft project uh, for the web, uh, the project operations. Again, a similar uh, look and feel if you've used the Microsoft project uh, professional desktop tool, you'll have similar functionality there, uh, setting up projects and Gantt charts and that type of stuff. Uh, pricings available, category-based expenses, uh, project-based uh, sales management uh, all the way from, again, from you know, your quoting process all the way through to your pro forma invoicing there is, is there with uh, project operations. Uh, the resource scheduling engine is there, so and again, it integrates with field service and customer service really well. Uh, project progress time tracking is all there, expense management, and invoicing that takes it the last mile uh, from the pro forma automatically uh, integrated into finance supply chain management into customer invoicing. Then you can do all the sales tax, exchange rates, all those types of things inside finance supply chain management. So it makes it really efficient that way. Um, and then also project costing revenue, um, all, all the usual accounting accrual type uh, functionality you would want in a project based uh, revenue recognition um, is available to you uh, in this scenario. Uh, and then also you get to take advantage of the reporting financial reporting analytics capabilities and finance and supply chain management. So if you, uh, you know, are looking at project operations and either have finance and supply chain or looking at finance supply chain as your back end, uh, your ERP system, and you don't have your non stock inventory. So your professional services, construction based, um, any of those scenarios, non stock inventory, then this would be the a good, a good solution to look at. Uh, so project operations uh, with the finance supply chain architecture, just taking a deeper dive here just to really show you a little more in depth of what's going on with uh, project operations via dual right in the data verse uh, with finance and supply chain. So you can see up here uh, areas in the gray are in what they term the data verse, which is the project operations, the database tables essentially. Um, the flow of data here uh, is all up in, in the data verse. So your leads, opportunities, quotes, project, contracts, your estimates, all that stuff. But you can see it talks to a finance supply chain, creating the project cron contract, uh, billing rules, uh, forecasting, uh, integration into your journal sub ledger, and then also uh, invoicing out there. Uh, also, another note is when it comes to milestones and estimating projects, it will integrate into finance supply chain management also from the beginning when you're initially estimating your project too. So, and you'll see here, you can get your operational reporting from the Dataverse and then inside finance supply chain, the advanced uh, financial reporting is, you can take a full advantage of that. So it's just a little deeper dive in the, the overall architecture when it comes to project operations uh, being integrated via dual right with finance supply chain management. So the third option, this project operations for stock production order scenarios, excuse me, that's that's really the inventory based scenario with existing finance and supply chain management. Um, everybody, you know, refers to it project based engineer to order manufacturers. These are really the types of scenarios that this excels at. Uh, again, it's the project management accounting module essentially that has been in uh, finance and supply chain for a while. Um, so it covers everything from the project uh, sales, the planning, resource management, time entry, your expenses, invoicing, revenue recognition, and project accounting, all inside finance and supply chain management. So just taking a deeper dive in there, again, you get the rich uh, worked out breakdown structures, project planning, um, the additional benefits, obviously you get the pure to consume for stocked inventory, projects. So that's again, this this inventory scenario when you're producing um, a product or consuming your inventory. Um, it's it's all integrated right in there. Um, the uh, project pricing, costing, uh, billing rates, configuration, so very robust and rich in that. 
resource management for your projects, the time trackings, their expenses, uh, expense management for non-project expenses, and then receipt, um, some OCR capabilities also is embedded in there. Uh, invoicing using enterprise, you know, you can sales tax, um, exchange rates, all that stuff is, is available. And then, uh, you know, your project groups, work in progress uh, for accounting and accruals is all there along with your project revenue recognition. So it's all all integrated there um, as part of finance and supply chain management if you own it already. So as far as next steps, I hope that helps uh, clarify the different options, deployment scenarios a little bit for you. I, I know it's a lot there. Uh, so just going back over, you have the first scenario, the project light deployment scenario, which is the full project operations application. I, it's, it's not integrated with anything out of the box. It can integrate with uh, Business Central. Uh, it's a full open API or uh, another non-Microsoft uh, ERP package uh, with it. So if you fall into that scenario and need the full project operations capabilities and are not using finance supply chain management, then option one is definitely a good option to look at. Uh, the second one is a project service automation with finance supply chain management. So again, if you have you don't have non-stock inventory, if you're again a, a construction based uh, firm, professional services, marketing, advertising, a architectural type firm, somewhere on there where you don't have uh, inventory, um, but are project based in your your service delivery, and you have uh, finance supply chain. Uh, you're looking at uh, deploying as your back end ERP. Then you could definitely this would be a really great option of deploying project operations with finance supply chain management using the dual right technology. And then the third scenario is if you have uh, what Microsoft always talks about is the stock production order scenario. So again, if you're a manufacturing firm, you're an engineer to order type situation, um, those those types of, of industries, if you have the stocked inventory need really robust project management accounting needs, uh, then the option three with finance supply chain inside finance and supply chain management is definitely uh, a viable option to look at. So I that's a, the end of the presentation today. So thank you for taking the time uh, for reviewing uh, this this presentation on Dynamics Project Operations and which version to deploy. Uh, if you have any other uh, questions or want to learn more about uh, how project operations could benefit your company and drive efficiencies and automation in your your project management uh, uh, needs there uh, in your project service. Uh, feel free to reach out to us here at Encore Business Solutions, uh, Encore at EncoreBusiness.com. And thank you for attending today. Have a great day. Thank you. <laughs>